energy economy. And, um, you know, what a lot of these initiatives are doing right now, by initiatives I mean market-based initiatives, are they are enabling the fossil fuel regime to continue to operate as business as usual, all the while, you know, our communities are continuing to suffer disproportionately, not only from living beside these toxic industries um, and, you know, having to deal with all of the offsetting of costs that occur by these industries on our nations in terms of environmental destruction, catastrophic climate change, biological diversity, uh, the loss of biological diversity, and the loss of culture. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, but we're also forced to be the ones to carry the responsibility to, you know, change our lifestyles and our ways to try and somehow, you know, hold the weight of the industrialized North. And this is fundamentally uh, uh, imbalanced and unfair. And, and, and it has significant human rights implications. And so in that context, I think that, you know, moving forward, there has got to be a serious dialogue um, and, 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 um, and, 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 the, and I guess the actions and, and organizing efforts and concerns, uh, again, of all these groups that I'm speaking about that were at the permanent forum and that were mandated by, you know, thousands of indigenous peoples around the world to oppose these harmful initiatives and demand, um, um, you know, recommendations to be put forward by the permanent forum to the UN system that actually address uh, you know, the true causes of climate change, which of course is the fossil fuel industry, um, um, you know, we need to actually have a mechanism, a way for that conversation to have some focus and attention put to it. And the Permanent Forum um, has got to respond uh, to this situation in a good way for it to have you know, credibility amongst indigenous peoples around the world because what this has turned out to be, uh, from my perspective, has been something that has become off extremely divisive and, you know, has some pretty sinister roots. I mean, this is obviously a World Bank agenda. It's not just the permanent forum. Um, every UN instrument has been, you know, uh, uh, um, has been influenced by the World Bank and its immense resources to have its clean development mechanisms and REDS programs highlighted as a best practice to address, you know, the, the catastrophic impacts of climate change and begin to mitigate it. However, again, I, I go back to saying that, you know, these market-based mechanisms do nothing to address the true causes of climate change. You know, climate change is an issue uh, that, that stems from social inequities that stems from, you know, uh, uh, certain populations being sacrificed at the altar of irresponsible energy policy um, so that other populations can thrive and, and, and profit from their suffering. And so I think that, you know, in that context, I go back to saying that we have got to have a real discussion that puts the focus and attention on big emitters, on the fossil fuel industry, um, and, 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 and we have got to put forward a united front that, you know, encourages governments of the world, nation states that participate within the United Nations systems to take back their sovereignty from these big time oil and gas corporations and to implement hard regulations and hard caps on the emissions that these big time oil and gas and coal uh, uh, CO2 emitters are, are, have been allowed to be to be operating as business as usual. You know, we've got to do something um, that addresses the true causes of climate change, which is social inequities, which is, which is uh, environmental racism here in North America, which is, uh, uh, you know, big oil and gas being able to operate as business as usual. We've got to turn off the tap. And all that market-based mechanisms do is it buys them more time and more time to, uh, to continue to wreck ecological destruction um, on Mother Earth and, and to harm, you know, indigenous peoples that rely on our healthy environment to continue to, to subsist and practice our traditional lifestyles that we have for time immemorial.